Hey everyone, Urban Nerd here. So I realized that my Ender 3 extruder is wearing down a little bit because of the plastic that is rubbing against it. Now there are 3D printed parts that you can print out and put on there to help, but I figured I would just upgrade to an aluminum extruder, like this MK8 one, just to help out a little bit. It's going to go from looking like this, to looking like this. So let's jump right into it. So just to show you the kit that I'm using, I bought this on Amazon. It does say that it's for the Prusa i3, but it works just fine on the Ender 3. And these are the different sort of parts that we will be working with. I'll show you how to assemble this and get it on your Ender 3. Here we are at my extruder. From here, you can go ahead and unplug it and also undo the tubing that your filament goes through, the coupler. So now your extruder is essentially freed up that we can now go ahead and start taking it apart. I'll be using the M3 Allen wrench that it comes with, as well as the M2. So go ahead and pick up the M2 Allen wrench and undo the back two bolts. There will be two, one right here and one right here. Next, go ahead and grab the M3 Allen wrench and undo this bolt right here. Once that bolt has been undone, the uh, bearing and the spring and this whole piece will come out. Then we'll go back to the M2 Allen wrench and now you're gonna wanna support the, the stepper motor while we undo this last bolt. And now the stepper motor will be free and it will pop out just like that. All right, so here I have all the parts in front of me. We have the Ender 3 parts on the left and the uh, MK8, 8, MK8 kit on the right. So first thing is we can start assembling the new extruder by taking this sort of metal sleeving, inserting it into the arm, just like that. And then my kit also comes with this black bolt, and you can also slide that right into there. Now, we can go over to the Ender 3 part, and this bearing here, it's not bad, but I would like to use the new bearing. But the kit did not come with something to separate in between the uh, bearing itself and the, the piece. So we're going to salvage that, and by using the M4 Allen wrench that came with your Ender 3, take the bearing off, and you set that to the side, and then we want to take out this washer. So then we can go ahead and start to assemble the bearing on the MK8 by using the Phillips head, put it through the bearing, and make sure the washer's on the end. And then we can screw it down. Make sure it's pretty snug and make sure that the bearing still moves pretty freely. Next, we can take the stepper motor and you can replace this, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but the brass piece on here. Now, I already replaced mine because the Ender 3 one was a little bit harder to get off than I anticipated, but that was just because of uh, something that I did to my own. So once you get that slit on, you're going to want to adjust it later, so don't fully tighten these bolts down. And you will also need the smallest M1 uh, Allen wrench to adjust these. But whenever you put this on, you will notice that there is a flat part to the shaft, and you're going to want one of these um, bolts, essentially, the, to sit on this flat part. And then the other one can just be on the side. But this is uh, probably the most important step. Next, we can then take the part that goes onto the uh, metal piece that sits on top of the extruder, and you want to get the second longest bolt at least that came in my kit, and insert it into the uh, hole that, if you're sitting this with this piece on the right side, will be the hole farthest from you. So go ahead and screw that in until it just starts to pop out a little bit, and we'll screw that in more later. Then take the longer bolt, 
and take the arm with it facing you just like this and put this bolt into the farthest hole on the arm. Once again, just screw it in so it's flush and we'll take care of screwing that in more later. Now I will also re be reusing this flat uh, bolt from our original plastic piece right down here. So you can go ahead and just put it with the stuff that we're going to be using. And we're ready to actually put this back on the Ender 3. Now as a side note, as you can tell, the bolts over here on the stock Ender 3 extruder, they are very, they're pretty small because of this uh, more shallow plastic piece and this is much taller. So I got myself 20 millimeter M3 bolts and put them through. Now I actually ended up cutting these ones to 21 millimeters just because they seem to fit more snug on the uh, stepper motor itself whenever it sits there and you want some good support. But this step is up to you for whatever works better. Now we are back at the Ender 3. I brought over the metal piece that will sit right here and I also brought over the stepper motor. Now you can go ahead and insert the stepper motor with this port facing to the left or just out wherever it was before. Slide it underneath and go ahead and set these on top. Set the metal part on top. And we're going to screw in these bolts so that we can get the stepper motor to stay in place. So the first bolt is tightened down but still enough for the stepper motor to move so that we can align this next hole and it will screw down very tight so then we can tighten up the one that we first screwed down. The stepper motor will now stay in place and it will not fall on your bed. We can then grab the flat bolt that I salvaged from the Ender 3 previously and insert that into the hole that is in the top left corner. And go ahead and screw that down. Make sure that the bolt is very snug to secure the stepper motor. Then we can go ahead and install the arm. The arm will sit just like this. And you also need your Allen wrench and just tighten that bolt down till it is also snug. Now that the arm is in place, we can go ahead and install the spring. Now this spring has a bolt that goes into it and the bolt will go on the right side towards the big flat part. So now you can go ahead and screw in the arm screw and then we'll squish down the spring and get it to sit where the other bolt is on the left, on the right side. And then Now once that is flush, we can go ahead and screw the right bolt in to the hole of the nut for the spring. And that will keep everything tensioned. Now if you need more tension, you can go ahead and tighten the screw more, but we're just going to leave it how it is. Now the bolt that is on the arm can be set so that there is a stopper, and this is just up to your preference. So if you want more play in the spring, you can untighten the screw, and if you want less play, then you can tighten the screw. But then again, this is all personal preference. But you do want the screw out a little bit so that the spring will sit nicely. Now we will go ahead and tighten this brass uh, gear to make sure that it does sit properly with the bearing. So you can go ahead and uh, just place that accordingly. That is essentially by eye, but you want a little bit of the gears above the bearing and then a little bit below. So whenever the filament is going through the bearing, it makes good contact. It makes full contact with this gear. So now that everything is set up, everything is very snug. You can go ahead and install this filament tube and also reattach your stepper motor to your Ender 3. And that's how you replace the extruder on the Ender 3. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to comment and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.